Another day, another tall claim by the Tesla owner. When the company introduced its Cybertruck, the internet went into a frenzy. Then Elon kept teasing us with exciting new updates every year, driving the auto enthusiasts even more crazy. And now, another shocking new update has been the final nail in our patient's coffin. Today, we tell you how the Cybertruck has gone from a pickup vehicle to a whole boat in the last three years, without even existing, starting with Tesla truck that will also be a boat. Because why not? If you're a tech geek, or generally happen to stay in the loop about the bizarro world of EVs, you've probably heard of Tesla's Cybertruck. It's honestly like folklore at this point. Everyone knows about it, talks about it, but it doesn't exist. As shocking as it is, thanks to multiple delays, the Tesla Cybertruck hasn't even been launched yet. For now, it's mostly just a concept by the CEO Elon Musk, who's been raging about it for a few years. But he promises that when it does arrive, it's going to be one of a kind. The Tesla Cybertruck was unveiled in 2019 as an electric vehicle with the capabilities of a pickup truck and the speed of a sports car. But recently, Musk announced that it'll be capable of a lot more than just that. Apparently, this truck will also be able to briefly function as a boat if necessary. He recently tweeted, Cybertruck will be waterproof enough to serve briefly as a boat, so it can cross rivers, lakes, and even seas that aren't too choppy. Musk's justification of the waterproof feature is interesting. He says the Cybertruck will need to be able to travel from Starbase, a SpaceX facility in Boca Chica, Texas, to South Padre Island, which requires crossing the channel. And what's better than a boat car to get us there? Now, it's a tall claim, and it may sound weird, but the world has already seen cars that can also function as boats as early as the 1960s. Would you believe that? But not many have been able to successfully execute the concept. Not to mention how poorly such concepts have performed. Just because something has already been done doesn't necessarily mean it was done well. And that's exactly the case with car boats. Most of such vehicles were called off soon after the launch. Others died down because people didn't see the point of using a car as a boat, and some never made it to the market. So what category will the Cybertruck fall under still remains to be seen. Meanwhile, Musk has also previously made sensational and dubious claims about the truck. In 2019, the CEO and a Tesla engineer attempted to demonstrate the durability of the truck's front window on stage by hurling a metal ball at it. The window ended up punctured and broken from edge to edge by the medium pace ball thrown at it. Awkward. Let's look at some other less embarrassing details of this fairy tale floating truck. The Tesla Cybertruck appears to have been delivered by some advanced alien race in a faraway galaxy, and it's capable of competing with some of the most popular pickup trucks. It's everything you'd imagine a 21st century vehicle to be like. The all-electric truck is seriously durable, with a sharply edged exterior made of stainless steel that's resistant to scratches and dents. It can tow up to 14,000 pounds, has an estimated driving range of more than 500 miles, and offers all-wheel drive. There's still so much we don't know about the truck, but Tesla has constantly been teasing fans with the latest updates to hype them up. Last year, the company announced that the truck would come equipped with a whole solar panel for charging purposes. The vehicle has a 6.5-foot bed that's known as the Cybertruck Vault. Given the angular, futuristic design that's reminiscent of bank vaults, this nickname is not surprising. Unlike the bank vaults, though, it has a flexible roof that can be unrolled for loading heavy cargo. Even setting up a tent while camping is possible with it. Elon made another fascinating claim last year that this extractable roof can be used to house solar panels as well. This would be an excellent addition from a design standpoint, but we're unsure how useful it would actually be. It's actually quite impressive that Tesla claims its new solar roof option will increase range by 15 miles daily, but how would that play out in real time? No one knows. Not to mention, the car is made for outdoor adventures. So this new boat update totally makes sense. The Cybertruck might have a few extra features as well. According to a tweet from Elon Musk, the vehicle will be able to identify its owner and automatically open the door, which sounds super cool to us. But about the rear view mirrors, or the lack of them, in case you're wondering, we'll have to see what they come up with because missing rear view mirrors is definitely concerning. For outdoor adventures, the vehicle should also include outboard power and compressed air. On top of that, Tesla may release new add-ons like a tent, a bed platform, 
and an extension to fit home appliances. According to current predictions, the interior will have a big screen in the middle that will be used to control the car's functions. Honestly, how cool would it be to ride and row in one of these things if it is everything that Tesla claims? But you know, as they say, if something is too good to be true, it probably is. Here's what the fans and foes have to say about it. Some Tesla owners may actually even laugh at these waterproof claims. Owners and reviewers have criticized Tesla Model Y cars for having leaky front trunks and this isn't going to be the first EV of its kind. There are several cases of other such vehicles being able to cross water up to several feet deep. For instance, Rivian recently shared a video on Twitter of the R1T truck driving through a deep lap pool during a test. So nothing revolutionary here, really. Even when the truck was first revealed back in 2019, it received mixed reviews from consumers. While some hailed it as a great victory, others were very critical of its size and design. But even the cruelest criticism didn't stop thousands of people from paying the $100 reservation fee for the truck. At that time, Musk predicted that production would start in the latter half of 2021. And then, in late 2022, a tri-motor AWD version was expected to enter production. Neither of them has yet been produced. Since 2019, prototypes have been spotted on public roads, but little is known about them, and production has been repeatedly put off. And now, at Tesla's second quarter earnings call in July, Musk stated that the Cybertruck was on schedule to begin production in the middle of 2023. We're not sure when this fantastical truck does launch, but one thing we do know for sure is that it's going to be massive whenever it comes out. But it better be soon because the consumer is surrounded by multiple options when it comes to EVs. And we're afraid if it gets delayed any longer, Tesla might need to add wings to that Cyberboat truck too. Let's have a look at some other related news now. First up, Tesla stocks have been dropping like flies. The CEO of Tesla recently claimed in a tweet to one of his 108 million followers that the past week has been very intense seven days indeed. Because the Tesla stock fell by almost 16% on September 30th, Tesla's stock reached a closing price of $265.25. One week later, at market close, Tesla shares were trading at $223.07, a decrease of almost 16%. The stock had its worst week since March 2020, when the COVID pandemic broke out in the United States, closing down businesses and disrupting daily life. And controversial remarks about the Russian-Ukraine conflict by Elon on Twitter didn't help much either. To top it off, the company's production and delivery figures for EVs also fell short of analyst predictions. Up next, Tesla to deliver first semi-electric trucks to PepsiCo. While Cybertruck is still a concept, the new semi-trucks from the company are beginning production, although on a smaller scale due to supply chain issues. Elon Musk has claimed that the Tesla semi-trucks will be delivered to PepsiCo on December 1st. These trucks travel 500 miles on a single charge. According to Pepsi, the trucks will support the soda company's Modesto, California factory for the Frito-Lay snack brand, as well as its beverage plant in Sacramento, California. Pepsi has declined to provide the estimated number of Tesla trucks that will be delivered for now. Finally, Tesla rival Rivian recalls almost all of its vehicles. Rivian Automotive recently announced to clients and staff that it will recall 13,000 cars after finding a structural manufacturing flaw in seven of them. According to an internal email sent to the staff by Chief Executive Officer RJ Scaring, the fastener to the front steering wheel may not have been sufficiently torqued when the vehicles were made. Scaring stated that the fastener has occasionally loosened fully. Although extremely rare, he claimed that it required extreme caution and urgency to deal with. According to analyst projections, Rivian lost more than $3 billion in the first half of 2022. Definitely a rough year for EVs. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the Cybertruck's waterproof feature? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in the next one.